Hey folks, what is up? This is one big bugger coming at you, and this is our um, Witch Doctor Diablo 3 gameplay. Now, to be honest, I've already done a lot of what you're going to see here um, with the Witch Doctor. The thing about it, though, is simply this. Um, I don't know what happened in terms of recording. I'm not sure what went on. But it only caught the very beginning of the recording and it just didn't work and everything was messed up and for the love of God why does it do this it's, it's still all freaking day with, with not much wind at all and the second I start recording breeze give me one sec folks and we're back yeah so I already did this part of the playthrough from the beginning of this area but I don't know, it just... I sell things for cheap, because I will just take them off your body again when you are... <sighs> it just didn't work. I don't know how else to explain it. Here we are. So I'm going to be doing this over again. Our path. Not that that's a terrible thing. God. Where did these refugees? I am not a guard. Then we share a She's heading toward us. Anyways. Teriel and I learned that when I suspect as a child I be safe. Be careful. Yeah, she's gonna try and go through the sewers. It sounds this like Belial's influencing the the, the long road over the canyon bridge. The young boy that. prince and whatnot and right about here, yep, there she is. The enchantress. And some of the funniest interaction I'll ever hear with the scoundrel. That difficult. I have come to kill them and their leader. Then you must not go alone. I shall accompany you. Well, now, it's my lucky day. There are illusions <laughs> out there, mirages to some, but I can see them for what they are: the coven's foul magic. They will Test the wagons, because you never know which ones you can destroy. But these cultists are known to me. I do not fear their tracks. Yeah, you really want to try to avoid those little, um... Those little bees that they throw at you. Yeah, you're... A little more frustrating dealing with these guys is the barbarian. When they go up into the rocks, of course, you can't really hit them. Come on, jump down. You. I have to say that the scoundrel is definitely the funniest of the uh, followers you can have. I'm pretty sure that the um These, yeah. The uh, Templar is the most useful with his abilities to heal and stun and whatnot. Be careful! They are very near to us. That cannot be. The way is blocked. You should never allow your demons to face to the bones. Yeah, doing Nightmare, my Barbarian, as you saw, I put up a Nightmare build. And so far, I've only died a few times. I've stood in against what I thought for myself would be impossible, Oz. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am also looking for someone. And, um... Let me clear the way for you. Thank you. 
No, let me go through this first. Protect the people! Iron Wolf! Yep. If not for you, is the road more than you? Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. But as I was saying, um, I've died a few times, but not too often. Not as often, not nearly as often as I thought I would. And the uh, reality of it is, I only face threat from an enemy if it's a rare or elite that has the word arcane in it. Because what they do is they put down these little arcane sentinel thingies. And what the arcane sentinels do is um, they, they're these basic lines of blue energy that spin around in a circle. There is another illusion here. And they do a significant amount of damage. Yeah, see those little... Yeah, you want to avoid those. Those fucking hurt. Bewitched shrunken head. Nope. Oh, footprints went this way. Come on, girl, show me the footprints. Look, more hidden footprints. Thank you. I wish I could hit those little green dudes and just kill them. It would make life a hell of a lot easier. I have changed up my bar build a little bit already, something I was trying out. And it seems to work well. I've actually gotten rid of Pound of Flesh. And I've also gotten rid of, um... Um... The damage converted to 3% life. And I've gone with Tough as Nails and something else that increases my armor by 25%. So, my armor has jumped. More hidden footprints. And I actually reduce damage now by about... Oh, come on, get up here so I can just kill you. I do not have no <laughs> you know, all this time, I haven't been working with the dogs. But, yeah, now I reduce the damage the enemies do to me by a good 50 plus percent. So, that was a nice little Look, find there. More hidden footprints. Gee, it's I wonder the where the hidden nails. footprints lead. Part of the illusion inside. Be here? <sighs> ah, whatever. Yeah, flesh. The ritual is disrupted! I've actually found this funny a couple times now. I don't, I'm not bragging. I just found it funny, and I'm wondering if I'm this good or just this lucky. There should be another ritual at the yeah, cellar yeah, yeah, yeah. to the east of here. There. I owe you my life. I don't know if that helps him escape or not, but I talked to him anyways. Look, more hidden footprints. Look, more hidden footprints. See. You couldn't have revealed these earlier? Whoa. Not that I can't guess where they're going right now. I wish she'd stop saying that.
We should be almost there. Oops, nope, it goes this way. This is one of there the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. As long as you aren't an illusion too. Whatever do you mean? She's a little naive. Oh, I ran out of money. Where'd my dogs go? There. That ought to dispel the coven's magic. Let us go to the bridge. Thank the god. I can have bliss. Now the question I have is, should I explore or should I just go directly there? Belial and Asmodan, lords of hell, plan to destroy us all. I have no idea what the tornado was for, but okay. I really like to explore because the thing about Diablo isn't always so much the, um... Oh, it's a health potion. I'm thinking it's one of those health globes. It's not about so much completing the game, although that's part of it, as it's exploration. Finding things off the beaten path, finding events, um, you know, finding like a hidden cellar or finding something, you go in, there's a little event down there and you get a reward for it, or you come across these big overworld events. Things like that, that's what I really enjoy finding. The off the beaten path stuff. I like your dress. I know that's what I like. Oh man, seriously? Hmm. You're a little late on that, dude. Now, I, I have yet to find a two-handed weapon that really does a significant amount of damage. I mean, okay, yeah, the knife I have has a low of 8 and a high of 28, and this does 22 to 26, so its damage is higher in that area. But... Um, the reality is, I can still do a high-end damage of the same amount. That doesn't seem right to me. It's just something about that. I feel like two-handers should do more damage, period. I was wondering where the third I dog was. I couldn't see him. My true tale. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent much of the great magic of this world. Yeah. My spirit goes fast. Oh, I get new stuff. Oh, what is it? Spider Queen. This could be interesting. We'll give it... A, I just want to see what it does. Haunt. Gain life for each... You know, that could be interesting, but no. 
Oh great, there was something else, I just don't know where it was. Here, yeah, under sacrifice. Yeah. No. And I gained nothing new. Now to find the Kasim outpost. And totally that weapons Oh, that's just interesting. Throw that out and follow it up with some bats? Just made trouble. I do not have enough mana. That was, this is interesting ability here. I'm going to play around with this for a while, I think. Yeah. I hate the fact that you pick up crappy stuff so easily and then you got to keep going and get it out. And I'm not ADD prone. I'm not, like, compulsive, but... Good lord, I hate having crap in my inventory. Do that the wrong way, but whatever. <laughs> Nothing here. We're looking for the outpost. Basically, I'm going to make my way through the outpost and then just leave it at that. I do not have enough mana. Okay, so it appears that the Spider Queen doesn't do impact damage. Need more money. Looks like there's a couple um, elites here. Now, okay, that has been fun to a degree, but again, right now I'm about utility. Plenty of globes, man. I'm surprised. Anything interesting? Not really. Not really. Definitely not. Nope. 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 Oh, there is a health potion. And a treasure chest I'm apparently missing. That's probably what's killing my dogs, is the fact that they run into those... Uh, those little hornet thingies. We'll just make those three easy on myself. Ah, the bats just seem so powerful. Hmm, what's this?
Yeah, I see the treasure chest up there. Though the champions are larger, and the lunatics more devastating, it is the shaman priests who lead the fallen. These shrunken, unintimidating demons can easily kill an enemy with their firebolts, but it is their ability to resurrect their imp allies that allows them to command such high respect from their peers. Need more time. Dude, getting some nice finds, that's for sure. Plenty of uh, items. if he was going to come out. Need more mama. Got to kill those hornets fast, man. Right, they are the most dangerous by far. In this one, not killing the priests is not quite as um, damning as like Diablo 2. Remember Diablo 2, especially if you had several priests and you had a huge horde of these f little fallens, that it would actually take uh, forever to get to them because you had to go through the fallen, but they would be constantly rezzed. I thought that was a bow for some reason. I knew a woman from Chaldea once. Fair as the sunrise, that one. Then why the Reaper? Every sun must set. <laughs> oh, what a tard. My dogs are hurt, so that globe will help some. Hmm. Belial, Lord of Lies, is the most elusive of the seven oh, here we go. and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. You must open the gate. I you must be mad. It's a trap! Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. There is a sacrifice here, but it is not I. Your master sent you to this place as bait to take me from Chaldeum. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! Your master is the Lord of Lies. You matter not to him. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Yeah. I don't need to hear that. Ah, 
Has Magda reached Alcanos? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then you must open this gate. I must save who I can. All right, well, spirit's anguish. Alcanos cannot be found. We've reached our checkpoint, and that's good enough for me. Why? 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 We shall continue with our playthrough after. You know, I really should save that ring, probably. Or wear it. go. This is... Yeah, I'll throw the ring on. Uh, that there, that there. Belt here. And that there. Take care of that later. There we go. Alright folks, so we shall continue our playthrough on the next episode as we made our way uh, through the outpost and uh, we're on our way to face Magna at some point apparently. So until next time folks, this is One Big Bug of signing out and I will see you then.